Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about flows. Now, when people mention flows to anyone other than a developer, traditionally everyone goes running in the opposite direction. With Workflows and Process Builder being retired in 2023, we can't have that same reaction anymore. I'm not going to take you through everything about flows in this video, but I am going to tell you which flow you can use to replace some of the automations that you would usually have built using Workflows and Process Builder. The flow we are going to look at is the auto-launched flow with a record trigger, or record triggered flow. These flows launch when a record triggers them. This could be a record being created, updated, or even deleted, which is something that Workflows and Process Builder couldn't do. Something happens on the record and the flow is launched to then perform the automation. Let's have a look at how to build one of these flows ourselves. On our accounts, we have a field called Upsell Opportunity. When the Upsell Opportunity Picklist field is set to yes or maybe, we want a task to be created to remind us to contact the customer about the upselling opportunity. The flow itself is very easy to build and you will notice the process is actually very similar to creating a workflow or process. We start by selecting a record triggered flow. You can then choose the object that you would like to start the automation. We will be choosing accounts. We then need to choose the evaluation criteria for the flow, which will be a record is created or updated, meaning that the flow will evaluate the record if it meets the entry criteria when it is either created or updated. Next, we need to set the entry criteria, which is going to be that if the upsell opportunity picklist field value is maybe or yes, the task should be created. Choose the all conditions are met or option and fill in the criteria. For the optimize options, we are going to choose the actions and related records, as we want a task to be created, which is an action. Now that we have created the starting node and we have told the flow what it needs to look for, we now need to tell it what to do when a record meets the criteria. Drag an action node onto the canvas. There are a lot of different actions that we can execute using flows, from sending emails to posting to chatter. Choose the task option from the sidebar and then search for new task in the action bar. Give the action a label and fill in all of the details about the task. You may need to create resources to fill in the details of your task. You can create these resources either before you create the action or whilst you are on the action. Once the action has been created, we need to join the two nodes up so they are connected. You can see when we do this that there is an option to put in the schedule, just like there was with workflows and processes. We can now save the flow and go and test it out. Don't forget to activate it. Now, when we go to one of our records and change their upselling opportunity field to either yes or maybe, a task will be created to remind us to follow up on that opportunity. Using record triggered flows doesn't just allow you to create tasks, you can also use them to send emails, update fields, or as we said before, perform actions around deleting records as well. Although they look a little bit scary at first, they actually follow a lot of the same steps as creating workflows and processes, and they are definitely a worthy replacement. Thanks for watching, see you next time.